Well, happening now, reaction to the explosive communications that new Twitter CEO Elon Musk just made public. It details the decisions made inside the company to block certain users and briefly prevent a story about then-candidate Joe Biden's son Hunter from being shared on the platform. The Department of Justice is investigating Hunter Biden now. Sinclair National Correspondent Christine Frizzau has the latest. On Twitter's decision back in October of 2020, preventing this New York Post report from being shared, top Republicans say the revelations confirm what they asserted years ago, that big tech was working closely with Democrats ahead of the election. Now we need to start looking at Facebook, at Google. These now have become arms of the Democratic Party, arms of the Biden administration. The Twitter files shared with journalist Matt Taibbi, who unleashed a long thread on the site, includes emails detailing requests made to Twitter to delete tweets from the, quote, Biden team. The reply would come back handled. He added that while both the Trump White House and the Biden campaign made requests that were received and honored by Twitter, it wasn't balanced since more staffers at Twitter were reportedly Democrats. It also shows decisions to remove links to the Hunter Biden laptop story and of officials blocking transmission via direct message, a tool usually reserved for extreme cases like child pornography, at the time met with reactions like this. Never before have we seen active censorship of a major press publication with serious allegations of corruption of one of the two candidates for president. Now there are renewed questions about why 50 former intelligence officials signed this letter, suggesting the laptop story had the classic earmarks of a Russian information operation. They were later labeled as spies who lie. Our federal agencies, those former uh, intelligence officials, they had a far greater impact on the 2020 election. They interfered with it to a far greater extent, extent than anything Russia ever could have hoped to accomplish. Some Capitol Hill Democrats are calling the Twitter files a big nothing burger, since both Democrats and Republicans made requests and had them granted, saying it shows how out of touch Republicans are to focus on this instead of the economy, some even adding it could help them win back the House in 2024. I'm Christine Frizzau reporting. We sent questions to Maryland lawmakers Congressman Kwasi Mfume and Andy Harris, as well as Senators Chris Van Hollen and Ben Cardin, asking, how do you plan to use your power to get to the bottom of this? Do you think there needs to be an investigative hearing into this matter? And are you concerned other social media platforms could have colluded with the Biden campaign? Congressman Mfume's team says they are working on a response. Congressman Harris responded in a statement saying this is a clear reason for Congress to investigate further and to remove protections from social media platforms. You can read the congressman's full response on our website, foxbaltimore.com.